it's a mystery. And mysteries have a way of driving people. Today on Staying Alive and Rich podcast, we have young Ukrainian American actress Sofia Sanchez joining me, talking about her journey and her role in the latest Hunger Game movie. Sophia is an advocate for Down syndrome. She has Down syndrome herself and she's pushing the boundaries in inclusivity in the entertainment industry for people with disabilities. This is Staying Alive and Rich. Let's get into it. We're going to start off this little interview a little bit differently, right? Because we're going to add a little bit of fun. Are you ready for it? I love it. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to ask you this first question. Ready? If you were stuck on an island and you could take only one ice cream flavor with you, what would it be? It would be chocolate and peanut butter chunks. No way. Chocolate and peanut butter chunks. I've not tried chocolate and peanut butter chunks. That must be a US thing. If this island happened to have giant spiders, luckily you've got a Hunger Games characters to help you out which one of them would you take with you i could take uh, i think this is great yeah. <laughs> he's so funny he makes me happy really <laughs> together because we like to like talk hang out and that's fantastic yeah i really like her too she's she's pretty awesome and that voice she can sing yeah she can sing like a songbird she can sing like a songbird absolutely now i watched that movie because i love hunger games and um I, i know and and this one was super even more cool because it kind of goes back to the start of the hunger Games. so there's all new characters in there which is amazing right Yes, it's still amazing. I know. And um, and you played Wolvie? Yeah. Yeah. And how did you like playing Wolvie? Well, he is so cute and so sweet. Uh, he's from um, 6'8", and he's so brave. She has like me. And everyone else is with Get like her. Yes. Well, you know what? The director, um, Franz Lawrence, he was so impressed with Wolvie and you. How how did you feel about that? Well, I think I like Bess as most because he's great director. He was so like awesome and pink and he was telling all of us what to do in acting. Yeah. But we loved him a lot. Like literally. We're obsessing with <laughs> Well, you know, he, he did a great job. He did a great job. Yeah. yeah, it was a great movie. Were you a bit nervous? Well, I was a little, but not really. But it was completely fun working with them, organizing my lines, getting the character, and I did the sweat, makeup, do it over my face. I did a Nice manicures, a, a dirty manicure. A daily manicure. Oh my gosh, that's you're very lucky. <laughs> and every day I said to myself, goodbye, world, Sophia. Hello, world, be a good morning. That's <laughs> what you said once. I'm going to do that from now on when I'm having a bad day. I'm going to look in the mirror and say, hello, Maria, good morning. <laughs> That's really Yeah, cool. please do that. Please do that every day. I will. I will. I'll tape myself and I'll send you a photo of me doing it. Yeah. With no makeup. With no makeup, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay, so you're beautiful. Just the way and you are. Oh, you are so sweet, so sweet. And the arena in the movie is really scary. Did you find it scary walking into that huge arena? It was big, massive. It was massive, right? It looked massive on screen. Well, yeah, because there were like ripples like, everywhere on the arena, like up the dolly. Yeah. I was like, what do you mean and I felt like it's a little scary for me, but I have to do it. But I was going to be on a big screen in front of everyone watching it. Yeah, it looked like amazing now. on screen. Have you had any challenges in your in your acting career so far? Well, I actually have big challenges actually. 
big challenges? Yeah. Yeah? Can you give can you give me an example? My big challenge is speaking clearly and plainly so everyone can understand what I am saying to them. Well, you're doing a so. great job today because I can understand everything you're saying. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're very clear and very articulate. You should be very proud of yourself. You're doing a great job. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What advice would you give young ex- aspiring actors? Well, I think it can be brave, kind, and beautiful. Brave, kind, kind and beautiful. Brave. We we can be happy, be smart, be brave, be nice, be yourself. And have a career and have a great yourself. That's right. I think being yourself is the most important thing, isn't it? And being happy yeah. with yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the most important thing. Tell I me something. Have- you still have? We have we have fun. You have fun. A hundred percent. You need to have fun, no matter what you're doing, right? Yeah. Now you've turned 14 did you have a big party oh yes yeah well big party with the family and i was so excited a good day and i took 14 my dad got me a phone for a phone yeah that's so cool and a and necklace my- let me have a yeah. look it's my here oh wow that's cool oh it's a love heart necklace oh what? And it's so the net on it. Oh, that's so beautiful. Now, you've written some kid, uh, some children's books, haven't you? Oh, yes, I have. Yes. And um, one of those books says, You Are Loved, a book about families. Yes. Okay. What inspired you to write that book? Well, I described my adoption because my adoption shows how to be born with times of drum, but if you don't have it, it's okay. It's okay. But being a family is more important to be with everyone else because we have friends because we love each other. We're friends. We can say hi. Yeah. yeah. So being in family is important. And it doesn't matter because as long as you have your family and you love each other, that's the most important thing. That's beautiful. I'm so glad you shared that with us. Do you plan to write more books? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah? But I have one more. One more? What? What? What's that? Can you tell me what it's going to be about or is it a bit of a secret? But no, I've got to tell you. But this one is You Are Brave. I'm trying new things. Trying because, new things. Because I have done lots of things in my future and past. Yep. Because I love the mark and I'm going to do everything I can do, but fear can stop me. But I can do the scary bit anyway. All, everyone can be brave, just like me. That's right. Mean it, believe it, and stay positive. And you have such a positive energy. It's beautiful to see. Absolutely. Um, we're going to move on to a bit of fashion talk now because I know you love fashion. Like I said, I, I I really adored your outfits when you were going to the premieres. I loved the little jumpsuit too that you had on too. That was pretty cool. I think, yeah. yeah. Um, who's your favourite designer or fashion brand? Oh, my favourite designer is Lois Virginia because she makes all my dresses work. My key outfits were my movie premieres because I never stopped loving my butterfly dress, my snake dress, and my jumpsuit. Oh, so I cool. I love it a lot. Yeah. It's a I love it a lot too. I was like, this, this is a, these are cool outfits. Cool outfits. Yeah. Have you thought about creating your own fashion brand, Sophia? Well, maybe I have, but I'm not sure, maybe. Maybe. Maybe later. Maybe when you're a bit older. Yeah. And if you do, you have to send me something so I can wear it. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
we're gonna we're gonna finish up this interview with some quick questions. Are you ready for it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, ready? Donuts or bagels? Oh, donut. Donuts. Donuts. Yeah, I'm a donut girl. I like chocolate donuts. All right, Team Peter or Team Gail? Um, Team Gail. Gail. I love. The oh, okay, that mean scary. Yeah. <laughs> what about favorite Hunger Games district? District eight and twelve. Eight and twelve. Okay. Milkshakes or smoothies? I, I love smoothies. I love smoothies too. What's your favorite flavor? My favorite flavor is banana and mango. I love banana and mango too. It's my go-to, especially in summer. It's hot here in Melbourne. So banana and mango, yep, it's a, it's, it's oh, a good yummy. one. Favourite holiday destination? Oh, my favourite holiday destination is going to the snow. Going to I the like, snow. Yeah. I like the snow. I like going to the snow. And it means no ball bags, making it snow, man, having hot chocolate. Oh. That sounds like a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Dancing or singing? I like dancing because dancing makes me happy a lot. Do you guys see my dance move? Yeah, go. I want to see your dance move. Like you go. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. Yay. You're a good dancer. You're a better dancer than me. I'm not going to even bother showing you my dance moves. My dance moves are like okay, nice. <laughs> my, a, I know you a, a, a super awkward, super super okay, awkward. Nice. Maybe when I come to LA, I'll show you. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, favorite movie? Oh, that's a really big movie. Of course it is. Of course it is. It's a great <laughs> movie. I never stop watching it. So I like it. I over and over and over again. It's worth watching over and over and over again. I can't wait, can't wait for the next one now. Me too. Yeah. Sophia, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you today. You are. Thank you so much. You've made me so happy. You've made my day. I'm going to have Thank the best you. day ever. Okay. Thank you so much. And you are absolutely, as we say here in Australia, gorgeous. Okay. Oh, thank you. gorgeous! Oh, Inside you... and out. Good for. I'm such a girl. Don't like you right now. Uh, I like you even more. I like you even more. <laughs>